the energy gel is an almost essential piece of the cyclist's armory, giving you a quick hit of easily digestible carbohydrate that's easy on the stomach even when you're working hard and is very portable. But this being GCN, we thought we'd do gels just a little differently. So we've come to the headquarters of Science in Sport, a nutrition brand that are behind more victories and grand tours and classics than we're allowed to mention to create a new flavour gel, beer. You won't need those, Matt. Or that. Thanks. Well, this is Fiacra, part chef, part molecular scientist and part endurance athlete. Welcome to Science and Sport, Matt. Thanks very much. Really looking forward to it. First off, I'd like to go through the composition of one of these Go Isotonic Energy Gels. Okay. Now, straight away, I'm not going to fiddle, of course, with the ingredients. I just want one to taste of beer. No problem. We can arrange that. Right. Let me tell you about the main ingredient within our isotonic gel. Okay. It's a carbohydrate, a maltodextrin, um, and we source that from maize, which is grown in France. Okay. Um, this carbohydrate is a specific type of carbohydrate we buy specifically for the isotonic gels. Good stuff. Well, how about looking at the process? Sure, no problem. Well, I need... Oh, I have the science glasses, won't I, for that, because it's the real sciencey bit. Uh, no. Oh, anyway, let's take a look. So, Fiacra, this is where all the gel magic happens. Maltodextrin, water, some sort of stirring machine. It's a high shear mixer, Matt. That's what I meant. Anyway, what exactly happens here then? Talk us through the process. Well, we've got the water heating up, so we need uh, some hot water to dissolve all the powders. Okay. Um, we're going to uh, add the ingredients one by one uh, and make a gel. Right, so what exactly are the ingredients then? So first up, you got a blend of a couple of gels and some citric acid. Okay. So the gels are in there to give you the texture uh, for a gel, so you, when you open a packet it doesn't squirt everywhere. So it keeps its viscosity. Exactly. Uh, viscosity. And then the citric acid is in there just to lower the pH a little bit. Okay. Um, for shelf life, so we've got a, a 12 month shelf life on our gels. Right, so I can tip that one in. Tip it in. I'm making a gel just amazing. That's where the magic happens. I feel like a proper scientist. So that's in, okay. So what kind of ratios are there? So it's, and we know the, pr the primary ingredient is maltodextrin and water, so what ratios are we looking at? So we're looking at a 65% water, 35% uh, maltodextrin blend. Okay. Um, it's all about the maltodextrin and the carbohydrate, and we use a specific type of maltodextrin. Right. What is so good about maltodextrin? What makes it so special? Well, maltodextrin has, a, well, the specific one we use has got a very low osmolality, so we can put 22 grams of carbohydrate in every gel packet and it'll right. still be isotonic. What is osmolality? Osmolality. Osmolality. Um, <laughs> what is that? So when we talk about osmolality, we're talking about the whole tonicity of our solution. Um, right. So we're looking at getting a carbohydrate solution which has got the same tonicity as your blood plasma. There you go. It's like a science lesson. Plus we're making stuff at the same time. Can I put some more of this maltodextrin in? Stick some of the maltodextrin in now. How generally, how long does this process take? Because I, I know it takes a while to dissolve, doesn't it? It does take a bit of time. What we do in the lab is mimic exactly what we do in the factory. So when we develop our products in the lab, we know we can scale them up into a factory. Okay, so how do you decide on flavouring? At what point does the flavour go in? Uh, for flavouring, we usually work with uh, flavourists. So I'll go spend some time at their lab. We can uh, develop an entire portfolio of flavours. If we're looking for, let's say, a new pineapple flavour, right. uh, we can develop 20, 25 different pineapple flavours. And then we'll put that in front of consumers to get them to taste it. And then they'll get to pick which one we decide to launch with. Hmm. Tropical flavour, D14060. OK, well, I personally wanted curry flavour. Si wanted bacon and eggs. Lloydy really put his foot down and he wanted beer. So, looks like that is what we're going with. So, I believe you've got some beer flavour just there. I've got some there. beer flavour especially for you, Matt. What actually is it? It's beer flavour, what's it made of? So what a flavourist does is they extract natural flavour compounds and then rebuild them into the flavour you're looking for. So if you go to a flavourist and say, I want this type of flavour, they can do it. Is it natural or is it kind of chemical? We only use natural flavours, so right. all the extracts you use in it are completely naturally sourced. 
So this is beer, sort of naturally sourced flavour. It is. I'm not going to have a sip because it will probably blow me away, won't it? But and I'm, I'm assuming this is non-alcoholic. It's non-alcoholic. Yeah, it does smell quite quite hoppy, quite quite yeasty. Mm. A bit like medicine, really, but I'm sure it tastes nicer when it's in the gel. So can I whack it in? Yeah, throw it in. It reacts quite quickly to what you put in, doesn't it? There we go. At what, at what temperature does all this start to come together? So we're looking to reach a temperature of 85 degrees C, so okay. you can have a check if you want and see where we're at. A bit cool at the moment, obviously, so we'll whack that in. 73. And you control that by this machine here, you I guess. You can control, it's just a hot place, you can control the temperature. It looks like we're there. 85.4, okay. I'm no expert, but to me, that smells pretty good. We're kind of nearly there, aren't we? We're done. Oh, it smells like a heady brew. It smells good. I think we're ready to roll. Let's go. Right. Finally, the moment has come. The gel has cooled down. It's not the correct viscosity, but that doesn't matter. This is about flavour. So, should I do the honours? Honor? Is this the first time we've ever done a beer flavoured gel? First time. First time. First time for everything. Good health. Tell you what, I feel reinvigorated, ready for anything. If we get enough likes, do you think you'll actually put this into production? Do you think it's that good? I certainly do. Wow. We might get a job here too. Well, that's certainly been one of the most interesting GCN assignments I've ever been on. And I'll certainly be looking at gels in a different way knowing why the ingredients affect the gel in the way that they do. And of course, I get a free beer hit in my back pocket too. And to be honest, it might even relaunch Dan's racing career. If you enjoyed this behind the scenes glimpse at Science and Sport, how about heading up to our factory tour playlist by clicking just up here. For more science videos, click down there. Or to subscribe to GCN, click on me or to subscribe to GCN, click on him.